The tour itself is laid out, um, first you see a chronology, second our hats focused on Sacramento, made here, worn here, significant figures from here. Third is what hats are made of, a lot of feathers and different types of materials that you might be surprised at. And last of all, of all our hats as function and we have each one, there are four of us that will be at the stations to guide you through as you go through. We have at this first table hats from the late 1800s. We'll move on to teens and 20s, 30s and 40s, and 50s and 60s. So we have this beautiful example here from the 1870s. It's a blue velvet um, Mary Stuart style hat. And you can see the little point here that would have been worn low and forward. And that was named after um, Mary Queen of Scots and the style of headwear that was um, popular in her, her time. And we have here a nice hat from 1935 that was owned by Edwina Fund, one of my favorite names. And here's Edwina in another hat from 1935. On how do we know that Edwina bought this at Hale's? Because we have the receipt from Hale Department Store. So anyone want to guess how much did Edwina pay for her hat at Hale's? 15 bucks. Last thing I want to talk about on the table here is the Solon's hat for you baseball people. This baseball cap and the program here for about 1939. Um, the thing I love is that the Solon's, um, the word is the Greek word for senator. So it makes perfect sense here in the capital we would have a team named after the senator. So I invite everyone to gather around our flora and fauna display. In this section, we are highlighting the materials of the milliner's trade. Those include, broadly speaking, of course, artificial flowers, furs, feathers, and straw. Function, of course, is um, one of the things is to protect you, you know, protect from the weather, um, protect from injury, protect you when you're um, in an activity. That hat is about from 1880. It was worn by a local uh, Sacramento firefighter in engine house number three. And he, uh, it's great because uh, the emblem on the front tells us that he was an engine house number three. Police uniforms, that's certainly something that's recognizable to everyone. It tells you what kind of organization you're in. This hat was worn by a woman. This was worn by Officer Delora Sutter, and the great thing about this is that Delora was the first female sergeant on the San, uh, Sacramento Police Department. Everyone recognizes a nurse's cap. And this is a nurse's cap from the 1940s worn by a, a woman who was a nurse's aide in Sutter Hospital. Um, it's funny, we, you know, that we're so used to seeing that cap that even though nurses don't wear it now, all you have to do is see that shape and you instantly recognize it as a nurse. Okay, well, that is the end of our tour. I want to thank you all for coming. This is our first annual textile tour. This is our first opportunity to um, share these with you. And we've decided next year it's going to be shoes and purses Yay. next year. Yes.